Comrades, I'm here today because life is about choices. And we need to look at the choices the government are making. They made a choice not to combat the cost of living crisis. They told us they're going to do nothing until the budget in October. Even though their own economic think tank, the ESRI, has told them they have the scope, they have the money to actually help people, but this government is saying no. So they're saying no in the face of rents going up by 15% where I live in Limerick, people paying 1,500 euros a month in rent, absolutely put to the pin of their collar. And isn't it remarkable that in all the years that Fine Gael have been in government and Fianna Fáil, they've done nothing to help renters. They've done nothing year after year to help renters. Sinn Féin in government would put a ban on rent increases. We'd insist on it. We'd give money back to the renters via a tax refund. That would put one month's money back in their pockets. Then let's look at energy prices. They've gone up by 50%. Here's a shocking fact. The government's energy poverty strategy, yes, they did have one, hasn't been updated for three years. In the midst of the biggest cost of living crisis in 40 years, they haven't even bothered to update their energy poverty strategy because they don't care. That's the horrible truth of the matter. They just don't care. So we need to fight back. We need to make positive choices. I tell you what Pierce Doherty would do with his finance minister. He'd increase the minimum wage straight away by 30 cents. He'd increase welfare rates. He'd cut the cost of childcare. There are choices here that all of us can make and should make. But the biggest choice of all, I think, is the choice to insist that this government has had its time. It's out of touch, it's out of time, and it's time for them to go. Yes, unite, comrades. Yes, unite behind the Cost of Living Coalition. Let's fight for a better future. Stand up, fight back. Go on, Great stuff.